Good morning, students. In this class, I'll be doing class ten, CBSE syllabus, pair of linear equation in two variables. This is the third chapter. Already two exercises completed. This is the third exercise. In this also few sums already completed. Now I will continue the exercise sums. In this third subdivision, uh, fifth sum is a fraction become nine by eleven if two is added to both numerator and the denominator. If Three is added to both the numerator and denominator. It becomes five by six. Find the fraction. So two conditions are given for a fraction. We are asked to find the fraction. Okay. So according to the first condition, we need some numerator and denominator. With that only, two is added. Then that fraction will become nine by eleven. So let the numerator of the fraction be x. Let the numerator Of the fraction, numerator of the fraction b x and denominator b y. Fraction b x and denominator b denominator b y. So according to the first condition, according to the question, first condition is two is added to both numerator and denominator. So we have taken numerator as the x. So two is added to that, and for the denominator of the fraction, we have taken it as y. For that also, two is added. If we add two to the numerator and denominator of the fraction, the fraction will become nine by eleven. This is the first condition. Then second condition given is three is added to both numerator and denominator. So Three is added to the numerator, and the same three is added to the denominator. The fraction becomes five by six. So now we got two equations. This has to be simplified. Use uh, substitution method and find the value of x and y. So first one is when we are simplifying the first one, it has to be cross multiplied. So eleven x plus twenty two plus twenty two. Is equal to when we cross multiply nine with the denominator, it will be nine y plus nine two is eighty. Okay, so now when we simplify this, we get eleven x minus nine y is equal to eighteen minus twenty two. So eleven x minus nine y is equal to minus four. So eleven x is equal to minus four plus nine y. So x is equal to minus four plus nine y by eleven. So this is the x value in terms of y. So now we take the second equation, and the same way we can cross multiply that. So that will be six x plus six three is our eighteen. That is equal to five into y five y plus fifteen five three is our fifteen. So Six x minus five y is equal to fifteen minus eighteen. So six x minus five y is equal to minus three. So this is the uh, simplified equation. Now substituting the value of x in this one in the second equation, six x minus five y is equal to minus three. So six into x value is minus four plus nine y by eleven. Minus five y is equal to minus three. Okay, so now we don't have anything to simplify or cancel, so we will multiply it. So six fours are twenty four. Minus twenty four plus six nines are fifty four y divided by eleven. Minus five y is equal to minus three. So now we take LCM. So after taking LCM, we get minus twenty four plus fifty four y minus Fifty-five y is equal to minus thirty-three. Okay, so minus twenty-four plus fifty-four minus fifty-five will get plus fifty-four minus fifty-five will get minus y is equal to minus thirty-three. So minus y is equal to minus thirty-three plus twenty-four. So minus y is equal to minus nine. So y value I got it as nine. Y is equal to nine. Okay, now substituting this y value in this x, x is equal to minus four plus nine y 
divided by 11. That is equal to minus 4 plus 9 into y value is 9 divided by 11. So this is equal to minus 4 plus 9 nines are 81 by 11. So this will be equal to 77 by 11. So my x value is 7. So I got x value as 7 and y value as 9. What is the thing asked? Find the fraction. Therefore, fraction I have taken it as x by y. So my fraction is 7 by 9. This is the answer. Okay. The sum is 5 years hence the age of Jacob will be 3 times that of his son. 5 years ago, Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. What are their present ages? So, two conditions are given. Uh, they are comparing the age of Jacob and his son. We are asked to find the present ages of both. So, we will keep the present age of Jacob be X and the present age of his son be Y. Let the present age of let the present age of Jacob be x and present age of and present age of his son be y. His son be y. So according to the question, first condition is 5 years hence the age of 5 years hence the age of Jacob will be. 5 years hence the age of Jacob will be. So age of Jacob will be. 5 years hence. That means after 5 years. So after 5 years age of Jacob will be 3 times that of his son. So 3 times that of his son. So first how we will write this. X plus 5 is equal to y plus 5. That is after 5 years. So this one is Jacob age. It will be equal to 3 times of the son's age. So this is the first condition. Then second condition is 5 years ago. So before 5 years. So x minus 5 and y minus 5. So this is Jacob age. This is son's age. So 5 years ago Jacob's age was, Jacob's age was 7 times that old, 7 times that of his son. It will be 7 times that of his son. Okay, so whatever statement is given that we have made it as an equation. Now this has to be solved and find the percentages. So first uh, equation if we take, it is x plus 5 is equal to 3y plus 15. So, x is equal to 3y plus 15 minus 5. So, x is equal to 3y plus 10. This is the value of x in terms of y. Second equation is, second one is, x minus 5 is equal to 7 into y minus 5. So, x minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 7 fives are 35. Now, I will substitute this x value in the second equation. So, second equation is x minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35. So, x value is 3y plus 10. So, instead of this x, I will substitute 3y plus 10 minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35. So, now it has to be simplified. So, 3y plus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35. All the y terms I will bring to one side. So 3y minus 7y is equal to minus 35 minus 5. So this one will be minus 4y is equal to minus 40. So minus will get cancelled. y value I got it as 10. Now this y value I am going to substitute it in the x equation. That is x is equal to 3y plus 10. So that is equal to 3 into 10 plus 10. So 3 tens are 30 plus 10 will be 40. So x is equal to 
40. So we are asked to find the present age. So we have taken the present age of father is X. So Jacob ages, Jacob's age is 40 years and his son's ages and his son's age is 10 years. So this is the final statement we have to write. Okay. So with this I am completing today's class. Whatever doubts you have you message me in the comment box. Thank you.